We are also getting closer to an important deadline ahead of the November election. This Monday, and I repeat, this Monday, October 7th, is the last day you can register to vote in Texas so that you can cast a ballot in this consequential election. This afternoon, we are joined in studio by Bruce Elfant. He is the Travis County Voter Registrar who oversees all of our county's voter registration efforts. Bruce, as always, thank you for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. Monday will be a very busy day for both you and your team. You all will be fanned out all across the area collecting those last minute voter registration forms. Talk about where all you're going and where you'll be. Well, we'll have a number of locations on Monday where people can register or update their address at the last minute. Um, all the tax office locations will be open from eight in the morning till eight in the evening. All the thundercloud sub locations in Travis County um, will be open from 10 in the morning until eight at night. Um, the airport um, county offices on uh, 5501 airport uh, will be open from 8 in the morning till midnight. Hmm. And then there's some other coffee shops that I'm sure that will be available on your page and our page uh, will be open till midnight as well. Yeah, we're going to so try to share those yeah, out. There's all kinds of ways that people can register and update their address at the, literally the very last minute. What we want to discourage people from doing is mailing their application at this late date because they may not get a timely postmark. And if they don't have a timely postmark, they won't be registered for this election. That's exactly what I wanted to ask you about next. You know, with that deadline approaching so quickly on Monday as the last day to register to vote, talk about what your suggestions are if people want to put that in the mail right now. Well, it, they shouldn't put it in the mail. Okay. They should uh, bring it to a volunteer deputy registrar or they should bring it to one of our tax office locations or to one of the locations that we just laid out on Monday. Um, the first thing they can do if they're not sure that they're registered at their current address is they can go to votetravis.com and look themselves up. And if the information is, is current, then they're good. If not, that's the time that they want to find an application, fill it out, and turn it in. Good reminder to check it out right now. Uh, in addition, you said today you had a long line at one of your offices with people turning in their forms. What happened? We have. I mean, people tend to procrastinate, wait till the last <laughs> minute. And so the final Friday before the deadline, a lot of people are coming to our offices um, to register and update, and we're, we're happy to accommodate them. You are mentioning that uh, there are people that will turn in their voter registration form, try to mail it in. It will be there in the mail by the right time, but have the incorrect postmark in order to be counted. Uh, and you all tried to put some of those deputy voter registrars in post office locations on Monday, but that's not happening now. Why is that? No, it's very disappointing. I've worked with, uh, tried to reach out to the Postal Service for several years now um, to try to deal with this issue of the late postmark. Uh, we had encouraged them to keep a couple of post office locations open till midnight so we can advertise those, and they weren't able to do that. And so we said, well, this won't be any work for you. We can have volunteer deputy registrars in the post offices until midnight, people can fill out the application or the ones that they were gonna mail, uh, we, can, we can receive um, so they won't um, um, have the postmark issue. Mm -hmm. um, they told us that they would work with us and then they told us no, and it's very disappointing. Mm. But still, people will be fanned out all across the area on Monday. Sure, we wanna thank all our Thundercloud uh, locations for stepping in the, um, uh, to help us at the last minute. Well, we appreciate that. And I know, uh, remind everyone about your website because that's where a lot of good information will be if they should want to know what those locations are too. What is sure, that? Sure, traviscountytax.gov. There we go. Bruce Elfant with uh, Travis County. Thank you so much for joining us as always. Thank you. We appreciate it.